Mr. President, um, I too uh, look at the people of the gallery who have joined us today, and I look at the many millions of Australians who are watching what's going on in this parliament, and what they're watching is a national embarrassment. It's a disgrace. It's utterly shameful. You know, we haven't had a stable government in this country for a decade now. I've got a 10-year-old boy, and he's seen half a dozen different prime ministers. We have politicians in this joint who are far more concerned about themselves, about their own self-interest, than they are with governing the country. Just think, while the government, while the Liberal Party has been tearing themselves apart, We've got 100 per cent of New South Wales that's in drought right now. We've got the Great Barrier Reef that's on the brink of collapse. We've got floods in India. We've got a 12-year-old girl who's setting herself alight in our room. We've got kids who are in a catatonic state because they've given up hope, locked away in those offshore hell holes. What's the Liberal Party doing? Focusing on vengeance, on payback, focusing on themselves. We've got people who can't afford to pay their medical bills right now. We've got young people who are being priced out of an education. There are 100,000 people in this country who are homeless. There are women who fear going home tonight because one woman a week is killed at the hands of a violent partner. And what have we got? We've got this spectacle, this disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourselves. We have people across the country who are suffering, and look at what you're doing. You are so focused on yourselves that you have forgotten what the country elected you to do, and that is to govern for themselves, for them, not for you, not for you. You don't deserve to govern. You deserve to be turfed out. That's what you deserve. You walked away from climate change. You walked away from an energy policy. You ditched your economic plan. And why? Because those dinosaurs inside your party room held the Prime Minister to ransom and he didn't have the guts to take them on. And what's he done instead? What has, what has your party done? We now have the prospect of Peter Dutton or Scott Morrison as the next Prime Minister of this country. Now, things are pretty crook right now, but they're going to get a hell of a lot worse. I fear for those people in this country who have come from overseas, where we're going to have an election that focuses on race, that fans the, fle the, fl fans the flames of racism and division. That's what's coming right now. We're going to have an election campaign where people are divided, where neighbour is pitted against neighbour because you haven't got the guts to stand up and lead in this country. People have got a right to be angry right now. I understand why people feel angry. Of course they're angry. People haven't been, we haven't seen an investment in infrastructure. Our roads are choking. We haven't got a waste policy. Energy prices are going up. Of course they're angry. Young people can't afford to buy their own home right now. We've got young people who can't afford to get an education right now. No wonder people are feeling crook. No wonder they want to turf this mob out. But let me tell you, the answer is not your neighbour. It's not the person who's come from overseas. It's not the Italian or Greek or African. It's not someone who doesn't share your religion. It's this mob right here that you should look at. This mob right here who are doing the bidding of the big end of town, who are more interested in looking after their corporate mates than they are in looking after the people who elected them to this place. And rather than taking a stand, there was one person in this place who was more unhappy than those members sitting over there, and it was Senator Hanson. Do you know why Senator Hanson was unhappy? She's unhappy because she's seen a party, rather than standing up to her, adopting her policies. That's what she's seen. Rather than taking a stand against One Nation, the Liberal Party are becoming just like them, a bunch of anti-immigrant, climate deniers with no economic plan. You are a disgrace. You should hang your heads in shame. Now, let make no mistake. We are going to take it right up to you, Mob, in the next election. To all those people who are listening right now who feel scared. Senator Dinner Taylor, I, I, I have shown some liberal, a liberal approach in this debate. but. 
Comments should be directed to and through the chair and members and the other players referred to by their appropriate title. Well, through you, Mr President, make no mistake. Right now, there are many people across this country who are frightened, who are worried about what the next election has in store for them. That speech we heard from Fraser Anning last week, that is a taste of things to come. When we have a Prime Minister whipping up fear around African order. immigrants— Order. Senator Dinatale on a point of order. Senator Williams. Senator Williams on a Mr. point of Mr President, order. you just made a point to Senator Di Natale to refer to those in other places by the correct title. I ask you to the same here as well. Civility costs nothing, absolutely nothing. Very true, Senator Williams. Senator Di Natale, you know the rules of debate. Please, uh, please refer to people by their appropriate titles. Mr Senator President, when, when we have the Prime Minister of this country whipping up fears around African immigrants, when we have the potential future Prime Minister of this country saying that Lebanese Muslims were a mistake to be brought into this country, when we have the future Prime Minister of this country blame refugees for taking people's jobs and taking welfare, we know what's in store. We know what's in store. The next election is going to be ugly. It's going to be a calculated attempt at race baiting. It's going to be a calculated attempt at trying to win over One Nation voters who have got a right to be angry at governments for letting them down. But the enemy is not your neighbour, Mr President. It's not that person who's chosen Australia to make their home. The enemy is that political and economic system that has been bought by vested interests, by big corporations, who make those massive donations to both sides of politics so that they can get what they want and everybody else be damned. That's what we are facing. In a few months, we will be facing an election. I say to the people of Australia, I say to all of you in the gallery, the Greens are with you. We will fight this every step of the way and we will not let you win.